Welcome to our new series, Stress Buster. Stress can happen to anyone when put in the right situation. So, if you have gone through it, now take a deep breath, count 1 to 10. Let's all count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, forgive yourself for acting out during stress. Cause, you're not a mission, but a real person. Stress is contagious, but if you can kill it in the root, then less stressful your day will be. Ready to bust that stress? Come on, let's see how. So what is stress? Stress is how we react when we feel under pressure or threatened. It usually happens when we are in a situation that we don't feel we can manage or control. You might feel it's overwhelming, I just can't see beyond the thick fog of stress. People react differently to stressful situations. What is stressful for one person may not be stressful for another. When stressed, we do a variety of things to handle stress and reduce anxiety. Every day, we use a variety of fun ways to relieve stress. Let's take a look at a few of them. These methods are not just for children. They are a valuable source of relaxation for all of us. Is this however sufficient? Is it possible to guarantee that your stress will never return? No. And as God's children, we must rely more on Jesus to relieve our stress. Shall we learn how to do so? Let's get started. This is Esther, Hi. who was a Jewish orphan who lived in Persia during the reign of King Xerxes. Esther was adopted by her relative, Mordecai, Hi. who worked in the palace of the king. Once Mordecai had even saved the king's life, yep. Esther became the queen of Persia, but no one knew she was a Jew because Mordecai told her to keep it a secret. This is Haman. Who was the second most powerful man in Persia? <coughs> Haman hated Mordecai because Mordecai wouldn't bow down to him. So Haman convinced King Xerxes to make a decree to kill all Mordecai's people, the Jews. Whoa, that's really rough. Like, surely the king doesn't go through with it, right? Actually, Haman gets the king to agree and sets the plan in motion. Wait, but if all the Jewish people are killed, that would be horrible. They're like God's chosen people, aren't they? And that's where Jesus would eventually come from. This can't happen. Somebody's got to do something. And that's where Esther comes in. When Mordecai learned about this, he was very upset, as were all the Jews in Persia. When Queen Esther's servants came and told her about how upset Mordecai was, she sent one of her servants, Hatak, to go to Mordecai and find out what was troubling him. So Hatak went out to Mordecai, and Mordecai told him of the plan to kill God's people. Mordecai said that he wanted Esther to go to the king to ask for him to save the Jews. But she doesn't know what to do. I know what she should do. Time to lay down the law and tell the king not to do it. She probably kicked into mama bear mode and was all like, Listen here, buddy! Uh, let me stop you right there. Keep in mind that this is like ancient Persia. You couldn't just approach the king whenever you wanted to, even if you had a reason. Anytime someone would just pop off to the king, they'd usually get a pop off themselves. Ah, gotcha. So I guess she's in a pretty tough spot, huh? Totally. 
On one hand, she didn't want to see her people destroyed, but on the other hand, she can't just walk up to the king and tell him what to do. Even the queen? Nope. Nobody could just walk up and talk to the king, period. Man, this is tough stuff. So, what'd she do? Even though her mind was filled with doubt and worry about what would happen to her, she had to do something. Mordecai reminded Esther that she may have been made queen for such a time as this. Esther knew that no matter what her feelings were telling her, she was a child of God. She knew that God loved her and that he had blessed her life and that if she stood up for God's people that God would back her up. Yeah, that's right. You go, Esther. So Esther asked for the Jews to pray for her and fast for three days. Then Esther put on her royal robes and went before the king. The nobles and the guards that surrounded him couldn't believe what they were seeing. Who did this woman think she was, that she could just walk up to the king on her own? Oh man, I bet her feelings were totally freaking out. I'm sure she was feeling a lot of things. When the king saw Esther, he was happy to see her and asked, What do you want, Queen Esther? I will give it to you, even if it's half the kingdom. So Esther asked the king if he and Haman would come to a banquet that she had prepared for them, and the king agreed. Esther held a banquet and then asked the king and Haman to come to a second banquet the next night. That night, the king was reminded of how Mordecai had once saved his life. King Xerxes decided that he must honor Mordecai and that Haman would help. Huh? Then, at the second banquet, Esther told the king about the plot against her people. The king was angry and asked, Who would do such a thing? Esther said it was Haman, and the king ordered Haman to be killed on that very night. Uh-oh! But the decree to kill all the Jews was still in place, and the Jews were still in danger. So Mordecai asked the king to issue a new decree, so that the Jews could defend themselves. The king did, and the Jews defeated all their enemies. God's people were saved and celebrated their great victory. Esther decided to put her trust in who God said she was more than what she felt. And because of that, her entire country was saved. The end. Hey kids. There are many things that tend to bring stress into our lives. We fall into anxiety and drift away from God, allowing our focus to fix on other things that we think will bring us peace. We adults may believe that we are the only ones who are stressed, but children experience a variety of stresses throughout their lives. Here are a few examples. Being criticized or teased, being bullied can be very stressful. Seeing parents go through quarrels and separation, academic pressure and no time to even play, worrying about school work and grades, problems with friends, public speaking, juggling responsibilities like school, sports, music and so on, money problems in the family, having negative thoughts about themselves and so much more. That's a lot for you guys to deal with. Allow me to demonstrate an object lesson. Consider this balloon to be our lives. We face a lot of stress every day and we feel squeezed from all sides. Don't we? At one point, because of all that stress we pop, that is we get angry, we scream at people, or some get extremely depressed and stress can bring a lot of problems in our body too. Alternatively, we can be like this object, being squeezed on all sides and constantly changing our state. Much like a ball changing its shape, we go through a lot of emotions, but we eventually return to our normal state. But what can we do to avoid being stressed in the first place? In our Bible story today, we saw Esther asking her fellow people to pray along with her before she went to meet the king. Same way, you have to pray to God and let others pray along with you. Let him know all the stress you go through. He is mighty and powerful to pull you out of a stressful situation. The only thing you have to do is Talk to him about your situation just like you talk to your friend. God has created us to live a happy life through him. 
we have a powerful god against your stress who do you think will win yes jesus will so why put yourself through anger hatred depression and worry go on tell your stress to god and he will burst it for you I don't worry about anything Step free about everything tell God what you need and thank him for all he's done all he's done Yeah I say I don't worry about anything Step free about everything tell God what you need and thank him for all he's done Today we are going to pray for our Metro Missions missionary Mr Joseph Kirbakaran and his mother please join Sharon as she leads us in prayer Yes I find the Kali Vela Kangnandi nine months of Bali Katinle Joseph mama singa hunga mama singa hunga Bali Katikolanga hunga sugan patinga yes namte jevik nalla kada ame 